president of Washington Strategy Group. Joel served as Deputy Assistant Secretary of State in the Obama administration. Joel, thank you for joining us. Let's start with what the president said today, $200 million more. What does that say about the president's position on helping Ukraine? Richard, it's great to be with you. And, and what this means is that President Biden is leaning in to support the Ukrainian military and the Ukrainian people right now uh, because he understands, as the global community understands, this is a moment of clarity. This is a moment to pick sides. And who, who does one stand with? Does one stand with the dictators who are trying to destroy our prosperity, our freedoms, take away our, our ability to have a future for ourselves, independent and sovereign? Or mm -hmm. does, does uh, he stand with, with uh, uh, those who are fighting on the side to push back against that? And I think uh, we've seen President Biden be very resolute, and this is only accelerating that resolution. Trying to get to a resolution here. Uh, Germany and France uh, on that audio meeting today doesn't sound like much came out of it. What do you think of their progress or lack thereof? And are they the right countries here, Joel? Should it be Israel or Turkey instead leading this? Yeah, Richard, this diplomacy is always needed. It's always needed to, to try to prod and, and pry and see what Vladimir Putin is reacting to and how he's thinking. And unfortunately, these efforts by our allies seem to be falling flat. We've seen uh, Israel uh, come up short. We've seen France and Germany come up short time and again. We see President Zelensky saying he wants to speak to Putin, but clearly Putin is, is uh, uh, lying and gaslighting about his interest in having diplomacy, because when they make an agreement uh, about humanitarian corridors, for example, they then bomb those people fleeing uh, to try to save their own lives. So really, in many ways, our diplomacy right now in the American position, my, my uh, discussions with folks in the administration, is that yeah. it's keeping the pressure on. It's isolating Russia. It's trying to force Putin to change the way he thinks. All these engagements matter, but Putin has to understand that he has sunk to global pariah as quickly, if not quicker, than any country has in post-World War II uh, international yeah. relations. And then he has to actually take this diplomacy seriously, uh, which he hasn't up to this point. Short question for you here, Joel. Secretary Blinken, what grade do you give him so far? Well, I give Secretary Blinken an A+. I, I think the United States has orchestrated our leadership right now, along with our allies and partners, in a manner that has responded forcefully reasserted American leadership around the mm. world, but in partnership, and it is affecting Russia directly. It's going to take time. This is mm. not an easy solution by any stretch. Certainly not. But we're seeing yeah. the United States rallying the world right now against Russia, as we should be. Joel, you probably saw this, but I, I want to share it with our audience. Uh, this is according to the Kremlin visa, via, visa, visa V, the AP, and I'm going to read what, according to the Kremlin, they want, what their demands are. And it says here, according to the Kremlin, Putin laid out terms for ending the war, for ending hostilities. Moscow has demanded that Ukraine drop its bid to join NATO, adopt a neutral status, acknowledge the Russian sovereignty over Crimea, which it annexed from Ukraine in 2014, and recognize the independence of separatist regions in the country's east and, final Kremlin demand, agree to demilitarize. And all they're not asking is for every single Ukrainian to stop speaking Ukrainian, only speak Russian, and basically move to Moscow. Uh, this is uh, essentially uh, an argument to uh, no longer have Ukraine as a sovereign, independent republic and make sure that Russia gets everything it wants through brute military force. That's not a negotiation. That's not serious diplomacy. That's just a, a validation of what we're all concerned about, which is that Vladimir Putin is trying to take over another country through brute force and has no interest in stopping. And that's why the diplomacy right now is very focused on punishing him, isolating Russia, and making sure that they understand that there is a real cost, as we're seeing every day uh, in this fight. Joel, thank you so much for spending the time. Joel Rubin, appreciate it. Thanks, Richard.